Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids here, and today we're taking a look at this item, which is my EDC Survival Kit. And the restrictions I put on this were all about weight and size. So I've seen some people who put together Carabiner Survival Kits, and they've got great items, but they are a little bit larger than what I would like for you know a Carabiner Survival Kit. So for me, my restriction was it has to be lightweight, and I'll talk about how all these pieces kind of fit into that. And it also has to be reasonable that you can clip it onto a carabiner and then, you know, strap it onto a bag, put it on your belt loop, whatever it might be. So I'll go through these items and talk about why I've chosen them. And then, you know, as I use this and refine it, we'll do some updates and tell you what's all, what all I've uh, changed and adapted. So let's go through the items individually and um, we'll talk about why I've chosen what I've chosen. First off, let's talk about weight. I just went up and weighed myself without these items and then holding these items as well. And my scale in my bathroom measures up to a tenth of a pound accuracy, and it picked up uh, no difference when I was holding this versus when I was not holding this. So that'll give you a sense of how lightweight this setup is. Uh, let me talk about the different items that I have here generally, and then we'll go into each one specifically. So we have a tack link from ITW here. The next up we have uh, some red electrical tape, paracord, this is a square or a large rectangle of tin foil. This is the Ultimate Survival Technologies Jet Stream Whistle. Then we have just your basic uh, magnesium and ferro rod. And then a Smith & Wesson folding blade. First up for our knife, we have the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Folding Knife, obviously in black. Your total length is seven and three eighths of an inch. I did put this little piece of paracord on there so I could attach it to the uh, to the tack link. It is a Tonto blade. The blade is 3.25 inches. The weight is three ounces. Uh, the blade material is stainless steel and you can see it has the combo edge, which I'll just show you up close right here. You can see it's got the serrated edge back here and then your straight edge out front. Uh, one thing I did notice is that, let me bring it up nice and close, this last little divot in your serrated edge is great for actually striking your um, striking your ferro rod. So obviously you can use the back of your blade if, you're, if you know how to do that. Um, this, I just was trying it out and found that that was quite, uh, that was the best way to actually strike the ferro rod. So, you know, if you're cutting all the way to the edge and you're beating up this part of the blade, then maybe you don't want to do that, but just a little FYI there. So this was my my cutting option. I chose this because it was lightweight. I had it available to me right now and to get a full tang knife, even if it's, even if it's small hanging off of um, the uh, tack link, just seemed a little bit large to be a little bit bulky. So that's why I went with this one right here. It does give you a variety of options with your straight edge, with your tanto. You have a nice uh, sharp point and you also have that serrated if you have to do some tearing or cutting like that. So first option out there, we have our, uh, our knife and this is the Smith & Wesson. Next up, just a roll of electrical, red electrical tape. I chose this because, I, again, I already had it. It was in the roll all, already. And uh, a lot of people choose duct tape in survival situations or Gorilla Tape. That's great stuff. I just want to try something a little bit different. Um, this does have, have a little bit more of a stretch than duct tape does. So I thought that might offer some advantages in certain situations. Um, I know duct tape won't stick as well if the weather gets wet. Uh, but, you know, again, we're just trying to mix it up a little bit here and try some new things, step outside the box a little bit, think a little differently. So, some electrical tape. Paracord. I've actually got about 30, 35 feet of paracord here. Most people, uh, if you saw my paracord bracelet video, you, you know, there's about, I think it's about 10 feet total, if I remember correctly, of paracord. This gives you three times that amount. It's not a huge, you know, bulky, heavy piece of uh, gear hanging off your carabiner. As you can see again, I just ran some extra paracord through there so I could actually attach, attach it to the tack link. And there's so many uses for paracord, you know, beyond your bow drill, uh, repairing things, making a shelter, whatever it might be. So that's why I wanted to make sure if I was gonna have a slightly bulkier item, this is what it was gonna be. Next up is the Ultimate Survival's Technology, Ultimate Survival Technologies Jet Stream Whistle. And this is obviously for signaling. Um, no P in there as far as, you know, some of them have the little P inside that'll bounce around. Nope, there's not in there. So that's nice, very lightweight as well and nice bright color. So if I drop it, I'm probably not going to lose it. Standard, uh, your magnesium and your ferro rod. This is kind of a standard deal. You're going to pay a little bit more for, you know, a larger amount of magnesium or a larger striker. But, 
uh, or a lot of larger uh, ferro rod, but in general, these are kind of a standard issue type thing. And again, just ran some paracord in there so I could attach it to the tack link. The last item is a little bit unique, and we'll try this out and see how it works. But this is, uh, you know, about a 24 by 16 or 17 piece of aluminum foil. And the reason I did this is it gives me an option for signaling. It also gives me an option for heating things or cooking things. So when this is all rolled out, um, you know, I could get it in kind of to a cup formation if I got water so I could actually warm some water. If you know, I got it set up, say, in between a bunch of rocks, I could get some water boiling. Um, the other option I have is that there are some water uh, purification tabs I got and you can put them there uh, two in a pack and you could put them inside this so you would have something that you could put into a container scoop some water in, and then throw the water water purification tabs in now again we're not talking about long-term surviving in the woods we're talking about you know a survival uh, carabiner setup or an EDC setup if you were in kind of a tough situation so that's why I chose these particular items so there's my setup again my focus on this was about restricting weight so I'm keeping it very very lightweight and uh, you know as I say that I'm sure some people think about those Altoid setups yeah, that's another option for lightweight. Uh, again, that's probably not going to be the ultimate survival kit, but it gives you a couple options uh, if you do face a tough situation. You've got some things in your Altoids kit. Here's another option. You have this kind of carabiner setup. So um, I'd be really interested to hear what your feedback is on this. You know, I basically put this together to be unique in a different way. Again, lightweight, but you know, there's a lot of other people who have thoughts on carabiners and their setup that they would. Uh, put together if they had something like this. So leave some comments down below. Let's get the discussion going. You know, uh, one of the things about survival, uh, everyday carry, tactical living is there's always new ideas coming out. We can't get caught up in, as uh, Travis Haley said in the interview I did with him, that uh, institutional inertia where there's like just one way to do this uh, particular survival thing or this tactical thing. Let's think outside the box. So let's get the comment. Let's get the comments going, the discussion going, and uh, talk about your thoughts, what you would add, change, whatever it might be. And uh, together, I guess, at Everyday Tactical Vids, we're going to figure some things out. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Please subscribe, like, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Take care.